Uh, Mr. Adrian Adnoid from a town called Malice wants to know what you thought about the truckers protesting in Canada. I'm just glad that Justin Trudeau manned up and took some action. Look, if a bunch of racist insurrectionists take over a city, right, it's the prime minister's job to restore peace. I mean, yeah, go after the perpetrators and their Trumpian supporters, you know, freeze their bank accounts. Yeah, go after the moolah. You know, it's one of the great benefits of the digital world in terms of the economy and in terms of finances that, you know, we can directly go after the bank accounts and the financial security of those who choose to support, you know, like intolerance. And what would you say to the criticism that the word intolerance is such a polluted and nebulous term that it merely allows the whimsical tyranny of talentless twerps like Justin Trudeau? Look, Justin's a good guy, all right? A little bit weak, but you know, he's learned to toughen up, like me. Yeah, and he's so handsome. Well, he's not everyone's cup of tea. You know, he'll always do what needs to be done, you know? And he's, you know, really so very handsome. Well, I actually think his face is looking a bit puffier recently. I mean, Justin is a poster boy for what a better future, for what a better world looks like, you know? He's the exact opposite of Donald Trump, you know? He, he, he does the right things, he says the right things, and he looks the right way. <laughs> well, I think he looks like a drinker. Don't get jealous, Harry. Uh, I haven't got anything to be insecure about. No, uh, of course not. Well, a Melanie Mellon, a felon from Devon, wants to know if you have responses to Tucker Carlson, who called you and Harry a fake duchess. And brain dead. Hey! And to your former friend, Piers Morgan, who suggested that Spotify should tear up your contract. Well, Piers Morgan has always been a first-class meanie, but I can't say I know much about this Tucker Carlson fellow. Yes, you do. Remember? He's the epitome of evil. Oh yes, sir. now I remember. Well, my response to Tucker would be that my title is the Duchess of Sussex. So how can I be a fake Duchess? Oh, checkmate, Mr. Carlson. Yes, but he might reply by saying you're only officially a Duchess by dint of marriage to a lesser royal whom you fled the scene with only two years after your extortionately expensive wedding. And Piers Morgan can say whatever he wants. I mean, what do I care? He hasn't even got a Spotify contract. I mean, he's just acting out, you know, a vendetta against us, against me, against us, against me. Hell hath no fury like a Morgan scorned. He's just this fading news presenter journalist thingy, you know, and I'm the Duchess of Sussex, so you know, it kind of speaks for itself. Right, yes, yes. But have you ever actually been to Sussex? Where is that? <laughs> 